Oh yeah, sing the national anthem for us. Stand attention, salute. Now so, okay. Stand attention, salute. All right. Arise, O oh, compatriot. Nigeria's call of death. Yes, so. To serve our father, we trust and strength of it. All it does was our flee, does was a never heal to fail. Not so. To serve it as a never peace and unity. O oh, God of creation, our rider of God. So, Babu, Boo Boo, yes, mommy. Please, what's the meaning of the national anthem you sang? <laughs> no, I'm not telling you to sing it again. I'm just, I just recorded it like I'm keeping it so that when you grow up. And you now sing it very well. You just know that you were singing rubbish. You were just thinking nonsense. You say a oh, letter of free to V, right? Let of priest to V. Correct. Let of priest to V. Eh? Yes. Okay. It's let us priest to V. Eh, right? Yes. Oh, what a wonderful. Arise, oh, compandra, Nigerians of the land. Oh. To serve our father, right? Yes, so. We strength and strength and V. Strength and strength and V. let us pass. Let us pass. A free to pass. This was a let us be to V. To serve belong and let us be a unity. Correct. Ah, boo. High five. Your school fees is not wasting. Now, so. This one, then it's your national anthem. They need to give you a word for it. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. So today, actually, my husband has actually been disturbing me, worrying me. Like, let's talk up, let's talk up for a very like since over four or five days now, and I've just been procrastinating and telling him that ah, let's hold on, let's hold on, or just looking for a way not to just do it. You understand? So today is that day because the case of this issue that has been going about it's getting serious and it might eventually end in a lockdown you understand so we just want to stock up the house and actually the things we are actually i'm actually going to buy are things we we have at home but we i'm just trying to double them you understand not like i'm buying everything afresh we have a lot of things stocked up already in the house but i just said let me buy some more things that might carry us over that's if, if there's any case of a lockdown so that we might have enough for now you understand so that's just what i want to go out to do i'll be carrying you guys along i have my list here i just wrote down a few things that i'll be buying to add up with the ones we already have i just hope that this particular lockdown issue this this drama that is happening that god actually takes control of it because if it happens the way it happens in italy it's not going to be funny over here i like seriously so I'm wearing this my cap to cover. Well, if you watch my previous vlog, you know why I'm wearing actually wearing this this cap. You understand? It's not for a bad hair. Just as a treating your bad hair day. This has nothing to do with my hair because I can I, I, I can also comb my hair if I choose to. So I'm just leaving. I'm wearing my jalabia. Like is it is this a jalabia or I don't know what to call it. Like I used to wear this when I was pregnant and. Um, that's just it. I'll be I'm putting on this and I'll be going out to get a few things in the supermarket close to us and then I have other places I'll be running the errands. I'll be running errands, you understand? So I don't know if I'll be vlogging everything, but if I can, I will. If I can't, you guys will just enjoy the one I have already done. So let's go together.
I'm back from the supermarket. Let me do a quick haul on what I bought from the supermarket. They are really not much because like I told you guys before I left, we already have most of these things at home. I just had to buy a few to add with what we have so we don't run out of out of stuffs in case of any emergency. So I got this. This is um, Dangote sugar. I didn't see the bigger one to buy. So I bought like four of these, four packs of this. It's somewhere. The remaining two, it's somewhere. And then I bought a few pieces of this. This is um, Hollandia milk. We normally use it to maybe take oat or pap or something. So I just bought a few of these. I bought like five, I think. Yeah, this one. And I don't know where one is. And then I bought um soap like um baiting baiting soap because normally this is the kind of baiting soap my kids use you understand so i bought this for them and then i bought a pack of salt we already have salt i just had to buy like i told you i bought golden one for my boys we have like two two packets i just added that one and then i bought a roll of this this is the seasoning spices you understand i bought rolls of this we have them in, in containers there, you understand? But I have to buy this in case of the emergency I'm talking about. And then tissue paper, I don't know. We don't use tissue paper to clean up after pouring, actually. This is especially for me. I cannot be without wiping with tissue. That's what I used to wipe. I don't know if it's healthy or not. But I can't see myself urinating without wiping myself after urinating. So I use tissue and then I bought several of it like this, like this, and then... That's what I bought for there. And then I bought this milk, this sachet milk. This is what I normally buy to be able to control the portion being saved for each of my child. You understand? Like you use two of these and you, you add, you use two of the mix tea and then you add two of the chocolates and you make a cup of tea. Because you know when I put it, I used to buy it in the normal container and then I realized that even me myself, I just overuse it and I realize we spend a lot on provision alone, especially when it's um, when it's school period, you understand, when they are not on vacation because they normally take tea every morning before going to school. So that's how I now went into, was thinking which mini, mini, minimalistic way I can do to curb the way we spend on beverage. So I just got that idea. So if you take two of the mixing, take two of the chocolate and then you make a cup of tea so that's just my own way you understand and then i bought this blue band we have one there too i bought this bread spread actually and then what's in this bag let me check what's in this bag oh this is detergent i bought detergent detergent our container of detergent is full with detergent but i had to buy two of this and that's just basically what i bought and a few other things which are in the bag today which is actually not so so important and then i bought diaper for my baby you understand i bought the diaper for my baby in case of any emergency so she won't run out of diaper and then we'll be running out that skirt and looking for a wrapper to <laughs> to pad out you understand so i'll be going out now to get um what is it like this mm. i'll be going out now to get um like a half bag of rice because we have we still have rice in the house and then beans and um palm oil red oil just to just you know double up things at home actually that's basically what i'm doing in this particular video it's more or less like an emergency kind of shopping do you get so it's not like this is what we normally shop on a monthly basis so this is just an emergency shopping to actually double what we have at home so we won't run out of uh, food stuff if there is anything or if there's any lockdown or, or or, or some sort you understand and then i also bought a few pieces of yam let me show you guys so i also bought some few pieces of yam you understand i have some there right now i got it outside from the aboki guy that normally sells the yam for me so that's just all i bought like i said i'll be going out now to get the things i need to get and then we'll be rounding up this video actually let me go out and get the rice and the beans i will see you guys see how i'm actually sweating actually so before i go let me just tell you guys something i think this is getting serious because the supermarket i went to buy because i went to two supermarkets i went to the first one and then i got a few things and then i went to another to another one the second one i went to you need to see gender you understand you need to see how people were packed there like we stood on queue to actually which normally doesn't happen that way we stood on queue to actually get what we had to i'm really stressed out because uh, to get things there it's just like there's traffic inside 
the supermarket so this is actually getting serious before you enter into the supermarket they sanitize your hand and i have to sanitize my hand before coming out the drama inside the supermarket is getting very real people are stocking up so if you're watching this video and you have not stocked up please prevention is better than cure this is part of preventing you from looking for food to eat when they said it's time for everybody to stay at home or let's say um, let's be proactive not just when it's time for rush hour now you just start rushing to the place and you see people packed and that's even that will even be a worse situation so let's go to buy the rice and the few other things that is remaining catch ya okay do you understand? You know, I like you can't put in enough water. The more you put enough water, the thing. The thing go. Go. That's uh, any rice now. That's fine. Really long run will eat my rice. So if you. Guys, the price of things have actually gone up, and you can't even get foreign rice in this country anymore. That's just the situation now. Everything is skyrocketing. Like. Everybody leverage on the opportunity to just sell their things and maybe make more profit or maybe the buyers actually bought it more expensive. I don't know. So I'm here now. I wanted to buy a half bag. I'm buying a Nigerian rice. She said there's no foreign rice. And I'm going to try it out. Thank God I'm buying half bag in case I don't like it. But I just hope I like it. So guys. I'm back. I I bought the rice and then I, I'm just uh, making it because I went to take a bath before coming to talk to you guys. I was feeling very sweaty and dirty. I had to go take a bath before coming out to talk to you. And then I'm dropping the rice on the on the fire. It's actually truthfully, it's actually not so great. It's not what I actually wanted, but I can as well manage in this period like this because I walked around a lot of places where they sell rice, looking for it to buy. But it seems like everybody has started staying at home, you understand? I walked around in some places, I could not find the foreign rice to buy. So I had to search for that one, which is manageable, actually. Actually, I just want to close this vlog with this. Like, I just hope we are able to actually manage this situation as a country. Because the other bigger countries, it has actually put them in such a tight corner. Actually, this situation has actually overwhelmed them. Countries like Italy. So I just hope our government actually takes things very serious and acts accordingly. Do you understand? Because one, if this thing hits Nigeria the way it hits Italy, God forbid, it's going to really be like... It's going to be worse than Italy. It's going to be the worst in history ever. Because it seems like every passing day, every few hours, new cases are rising. Five other people have been announced to be positive to this thing. So we have to self-quarantine. And then I asked myself some question that if actually this thing goes down to we being locked down or people actually staying at home like it's happening in Italy, how are the poor masses going to survive? Those people who can't even afford to buy food for one week to store in their house. How are they going to survive? And they said, buy things worth of at least a month and keep in your house so that you won't have to go out. And then I asked myself, there are some people who survive on wage, you understand, like daily pay, you understand, in this country. And they can't even afford to eat the next day meal if they don't go to work today. To get. So how are we going to survive? Because our government is not going to be like every other government, other governments who say stay at home and they might just send some stipends into your account for you to use and survive you get so if people stay at home how will they survive how are they going to feed their family how are they going to feed their self? these are just kind of thoughts going through my head i'm just wondering i'm being bothered for even those people who can't afford the kind of life some people can afford okay yes we can afford to at least feed ourselves for a month without going to work or something what about those people who cannot so i just hope this thing just come to an end asap and the world just come back to its normal form you understand because we miss those days where you sneeze and somebody says bless you these days if you sneeze outside <laughs> you're in trouble it's, it's been causing fights some in, in, in around lagos here places around lagos in a bus if you sneeze or cough you might just get beaten you might just get leached you understand so you just have to be careful you just have to hold your cough hold your sneezing till you get home that's just what has been going on here so let me just end this vlog yeah this is just was like this was just like an emergency shopping emergency buying i just said i should carry you guys along and 
I hope to come up with more content in this stay-at-home situation, maybe a few vlogs and maybe sit-down uh, video. Thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you so much for clicking to watch. Thank you for always su the support. Please like this video, drop me a comment what your thoughts are on this COVID-19 that has been actually going on, the, the, the pandemic that has actually taken over the world at last. Share this video with your loved ones, support my channel, help me grow, okay? And I will see you guys in my next vlog, in my next video. I love you to and every one of you. See you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.